Hello everyone, my name is Neema Paul. I am currently pursuing my fellowship in Star Business Management from the Indian Academy of Optometry. Today I am going to demonstrate few tests to detect strabismus. Strabismus, also known as squint, is a condition in which both eyes are not aligned and do not look at the same point of focus at the same time. An inward deviation is known as esotropia, an outward deviation is known as exotropia, an upward deviation is called a hypertropia, and a downward deviation is known as hypotropia. Before starting the management for squint, we need to observe and confirm the type of squint that is present for the patient. We need to observe the patient's eye for the direction of deviation. Since the patient I have is an orthotropic, there is no deviation present here. In a comitant squint, the angle of deviation is same in all positions of gaze, whereas in a paralytic squint, the angle of deviation is different in different positions of gaze. In order to check for comitancy, we do an ocular motility test called hedge test where the patient is given a near target and the patient is asked to follow the near target in all nine cardinal positions of case. The position of corneal reflex is observed by doing a Hirschberg test where the patient is asked to focus the gaze onto the light source. For a normally aligned pupil, the reflex falls exactly at the center and in an ESO deviation, the reflex is displaced outwards and in exo deviation, the re reflex is displaced inwards. For an eye with a hypertropia, the reflex will be displaced downwards and for a hypotropic eye, the reflex will be displaced upwards. Cover test is done to confirm the presence of a manifest squint. To perform this test, the patient is first asked to fixate a point with both eye open. Normal eye is covered while observing the movement of the uncovered eye. In the presence of a manifest squint, the uncovered eye will move in the opposite direction to take fixation. In exotropia, the eye moves from out to in and in esotropia, the eye moves from in to out. No movement indicates that the patient is orthotropic. A cover-uncover test is used to find out a latent deviation. One eye is covered with the occluder and the movement of the covered eye is noted. With the movement of covered eye in one direction just after the cover is applied and a movement in opposite direction as the cover is removed indicates euphoria. In alternating cover test, the eyes are rapidly and alternately occluded from one eye to the other and then back again. This procedure causes breakdown of the binocular fusion mechanism and will reveal the fixation movements of each eye at the moment of uncovering. In the absence of a manifest squint, such a squint in fixation implies a phoria.